what I'm going to do here is, is um, I want to demonstrate an explosion for you guys um, that could handle in all typical bulk handling facilities such as silos, cyclones, dust collection systems, spray dryers, mixers, blenders, etc. And what I'm going to do is I'm creating an explosive atmosphere inside this vessel, which is a very small one, but which should give you an impression on how severe dust explosions can be. I will just take a standard combustible dust. It's Lycopodium. It's um, honestly the one that you get quite cheap off the pharmacy store. That's why I'm using it. It is non-toxic. That's why I'm allowed to import it to the US. And it creates a very um, beautiful fireball at the end of the day. So that's why we are using this device. But it is not an explosive in uh, terms of that it is and somehow related to TNT. It is just a combustible dust. So it is in its um, severity comparable to cornstarch or to wood dust. So please allow me to just do some preparation on the test equipment in order to whirl this dust up, get it airborne, ignite it, and then show you how a dust um, explosion prone vessel can be protected by means of explosion venting. So as you could see, this is just a very small amount of dust. It's not the typical amount of dust that uh, applications that you have in your facilities at home um, handle. So, but it is just the dust amount that I need to create an explosive atmosphere in my test vessel. The typical concept to protect installations where you have to consider explosions is that you use explosion venting devices. Explosion venting devices are simply spoken uh, predetermined bursting point of your installation, so-called the weakest part of the entire installation in order to allow uh, pressure relief to a de designated area. So what I'm going to do is I equip my explosion relief device on this test vessel and then I will carry out the explosion and then you will see what happens. By the way, I'm just using a standard aluminum foil because the aluminum foil is A, cheap and B, it is in some way comparable to the opening pressure of typical rupture discs and relief devices that are applied in practice. Equipment is ready. What I will do right now is I will put some compressed air in a small cylinder that helps me to get the dust airborne and then I will press the ignition button in order to ignite the explosive atmosphere. So please keep your fingers crossed and when I give you the sign, then you count down starting from three. Thank you very much. So what you could see is that um, the explosion gave um, rise to a pressure inside this vessel. The pressure rise was approximately up to 10 PSI. Um, the opening pressure of this aluminum foil was approximately 2 PSI. So it opened, relieved the pressure, but it also relieved the flame. And that's why 
The protection concept of installations that are located inside won't allow just a standard relief venting. And that's why Rambi invented the technology of flameless venting. Flameless venting is a technology that combines standard venting, standard rupture discs, with a so-called flame arresting device with a flame filter, which is at the end of the day a very, very um, intelligent woven mesh that allows the pressure wave to come out, but that, al that allows or that prevents uh, from the flames to getting um, out of the uh, installation and to endangering people and other machinery in the vicinity. It works uh, in some way as a heat exchanger, which means that once the flame enter into this mesh, you will have in some way a cooling effect to the flames. So please allow me in some way the, pres uh, the preparation of the um, next explosion where I will show and demonstrate flameless venting in order to show you that we won't have flame lengths as what you could just see of approximately 10 feet long. So now the equipment is protected by a quench pipe. The quench pipe technology or the flameless venting technology has been invented in the 80s by the company Rembi. Um, it has been improved over the last decades and according to the new EN standards and the new NFPA standards, we proudly um, present the solution also um, approved for metal dusts, combustible metal dust, combustible gases, as well as hybrid mixtures and combustible dusts. So what I'm going to do is that I once again prepare the, pre the um, equipment and then you count down starting from three. So as you could see, I could even hold my hand slightly above the quench pipe because I know that this works um, reliably and uh, allows interventing um, into manned areas, to areas where you might have other machinery equipment. You are kindly invited A to our booth 1228 and you are also invited to take some notes. Ed is one of our representatives for the Chicago area sitting uh, here in the third row. Um, yeah, you are allowed to step a bit closer and to have a look on the installation. Thank you very much for your attention and have a good day.